I think the first thing is rest, mental rest. I think is huge. You know, um, tough loss to Toronto, bad loss. Uh, we win in Detroit. Kind of gives we get that one day off where we're just doing nothing. Kind of gives us just a reset for everybody. Um, coming to practice, you know, we pretty much scrimmage the whole time. Um, just playing free, playing basketball, and then you know Tuesday locking back in and obviously shoot around. So uh, I think that's the biggest thing. Is, you know, just sometimes it's good to just kind of take a step back and. You know, breathe for a second. You know, I think this this break was good. Obviously, we would love to be in Vegas right now. Um, but you know, I think for us just to take that step and now, you know, to come out and play the way we played tonight was was great. Uh, but you know, it's one night. You know, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, you know, this is great, great win. But you know, we got to do it again in two days. What worked well offensively for you guys tonight? Um, just being aggressive. You know, I think we had some silly turnovers start the game. You know, we weren't able to convert um, when we were getting getting stops, you know, but at the end of the day, the first score was 37 to 20. Uh, we got stops, uh, which was huge, but we were also, you know, making plays, just trying to be aggressive myself, and, you know, <clears throat> Max obviously coming out hot as well, I think that definitely helps, so, and then be able to main, maintain it, you know, throughout the entire game, I think was huge. You mentioned that, maintaining it throughout the entire game, like, they made a few runs here or there, but you withstood every single yeah. one of them. Is that a sign of growth, or what is that? Yeah, but also, growth? we shouldn't even uh, get to those points, I think it's, we, we you know, we hold ourselves to a higher standard in that regard. I don't think we, you know, we're happy with some of them. But obviously, it's not going to be perfect. We're going to have those instances throughout the game. And, um, you know, for us to continue to, especially get a team like this, so they don't quit, you know, they've been playing well the entire year. Um, you know, for us just to continue to build on that, you know, I think is the biggest thing. And, you know, like I said, we did it tonight. Now we got to do it again on Friday and, and then do it again on Monday. You know, keep going from there. Nate? You know, I mean, that little mini break um, you guys had, How much emphasis was there on uh, ball movement, and body movement, and do you think there was a step made in that direction tonight? Um, yeah, I think we played, you know, really well in that way tonight, you know, and like I said to Chris, you know, I think, you know, I don't mean to sound negative when I say this, but, you know, we did it tonight, and now let's do it again, you know what I mean? That, that's the biggest thing is um, this is who we are, this is who we, how we need to play as a group, as a whole, and, you know, now it's like, let's do it again. You know, that's kind of my mindset, not getting too excited. It's a step in the right direction. But, you know, we have like, we have a tough schedule coming up. You know, we, we need some wins, and we got to continue to play that way as a group on both ends of the floor. Ethan Sam, Cleveland.com. Darius Garland had nine assists, no turnovers. He's been struggling with assists mm -hmm. as of late. How important was it for you guys to have him back at full strength? Yeah, you know, to see him going out there making those consistent decisions, making the right plays. Um, when, he's, when he's not out there, you know, Second guessing, kind of getting down and being him. You know, that's when we're at our best. And, you know, you're, as a player, you go through stretches. You know, it happens. And, you know, there's an expectation put on him because he's, you know, as good as he is. And, you know, obviously we all know that he's struggling in the turnover area. But, you know, he works his butt off, you know, and it's going to continue to trend upward, you know, more nights than it won't. You know what I mean? So nights like this are, night, nights like this are great, you know, and it's great to see him continue to play that way. But, keep saying this, man, like, you know, we did it tonight, and we got to do it again, and again, and again. The defense limited the opposing <coughs> team to 9% from three. Mm -hmm. You guys are more of a paint-focused mm -hmm. team, but what were you able to do defensively to slow them down? Mm -hmm. You know, make them make them have to make threes. You know, tonight they, they did not, and, you know, Paolo kind of got going in the mid-range area. You know, he's a talented player, and, you know, I think we, we see him again in a few days, so that would be a point of emphasis as well. And, you know, I think the biggest thing now is just continue to make it tough on opponents in our paint. Um, you know, out of their, what was it, 52 points at half, I think 36 of them are in the paint or something like that. So, you know, kind of trying to take that number down. And like I said, just continue to build throughout these wins. That's the biggest thing. You want to learn through wins as opposed to losses. I think we've <laughs> done that enough <laughs> already. So I think for us, it's like continuing to, you know, get better. And also, <clears throat> we put them on the free throw line too many times, you know. Both of our bigs have five. And Max had five, I had three. Like, you know, I mean, put him on the free throw line way too much. Especially in that second quarter, kind of allowed them to get back. Uh, so if we can fix that, you know, going forward, being legit. Spence. Spencer Davis, Kevin Snyder. My question was going to be about that. How hard is it to kind of get back into a game flow when there is so much stoppage like that, too, with those fouls? Yeah, it's tough, you know. And, you know, you could debate. I can sit here and debate all these foul calls with the refs and, and all that. But, you know, for us to, to be who we want to be, there are going to be nights like that. There are going to be nights where it's, think they're the wrong call, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, the, what was it, we did the script, well, I don't think it was that far off, I can't even see it, um, well, they had 37, we had 20, but at the end of the day, you know, for us to still um, 
win the game by the margin we won it. And quite frankly, it was put away. They made a they made a run, but it was it was put away. I think that just shows the mental fortitude we have as a group. We put some lineups out there. We're playing five smalls. Just being able to adapt to any situation. Um, but you know, there's gonna be nights like that where we don't agree. Um, but for us, it's how do we respond and how do we continue to play. This mindset of let's do it again. Mm -hmm. Why is, why is it such a point, point of emphasis for you at this uh, point? Because it's, it's time, you know, I mean, I think, you know, we had October, November, you know, kind of figured things out, injuries, whatnot, guys coming in and back, in and out of the lineup. Uh, maybe we played our best basketball, um, in my personal opinion, as a group. Uh, so now it's, you know, we got a test, we got a test coming up. We got teams that are ahead of us in the standings, we got teams that have been playing well. So for us to be who we want to be and the team we all know we can be, we got to continue to put these games together. Um, and it's just that time. Chris? Jonathan, that moment late in the third quarter where George hit the three at the top of the key and if you, you guys forced them to call timeout and everybody was jumping on George and things like that. What was it about that moment that was so important? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> gee, man, he's, you know, just to see him fired up like that, kind of kind of going and kind of set, like they were making a run, you know, for us, uh, I think I had just hit a three and then I come down, he comes down and makes one, like that's a 6-0 run right there, make him call a timeout and, you know, for for it to be him, he's a guy that's energetic, and fiery, you know, in the huddles, kind of holding everybody accountable as he should. And I think that was just something that we all just felt it like, all right, like, boom, like, all right, there's there's that big three, and um, <clears throat> that's what we need out of him. That's why he's here. That's why you know you're seeing that as his his play has been, you know, phenomenal these past these past few games. So I think that's the biggest thing now. It's like when he's hitting those threes for us and doing what he does, you know, we get excited. You know, so many guys have talked about. His maturity, his leadership, his experience, like all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Him talking, saying mm -hmm. things when they need to be said. Mm -hmm. Has he always been like that as somebody always. who's been around him a long Always. Time? And that's why, you know, during this offseason, you know, I was, you know, excited for him, you know, to come because not only, you know, he sees the game, you know, he sees he's, he's been around winning basketball. We also play together. So for a guy like myself, you know, you have coaches holding you accountable, you have teammates, but then when you have a guy that's known you since the ball was put into your hand, you know, so he can, you know, it was a time tonight I got my shot blocked. He's like, hey, Four guys are open. Like make the right play. You know what I mean. So that's that's something you want. That's a, that's a guy you want in your team. And it's not just myself, but I'm just speaking from my own personal you know standpoint. At, I think that's something that you you really want in a teammate. You know, in a brother. Um, I love that guy, man. So you know, it's great to have him here, and you know, continue to you know hold everybody accountable, and also continue to play at the level he's been playing at.